In this video, you'll learn how to set up a boost recommendation widget on any third-party website, included those hosted on Wix, Webflow, Framer, Squarespace, and more. The boost recommendations widget offers a seamless way for you to recommend other Beehive newsletters via a pop-up that activates post signup. With this widget, you can passively monetize your newsletter by recommending or boosting other publications in the Beehive network. Let's get straight into it. First, log into your Beehive account and go to monetization and boost. Then click on explore offers in the top right corner of your screen. Here you'll see a long list of publications that are currently paying others to recommend or boost their newsletters. On the offers themselves, you can quickly see the target audience, category, and how much the newsletter is paying out per verified subscriber. Here you can also filter by publication country, category, and more. Just click on apply once you found an offer that aligns with your audience. Once you've been accepted by a newsletter, you'll receive a notification in the notifications tab of your Beehive account. Once you've been accepted to boost other newsletters, you'll be able to see how the widget will look like by adding forward slash recommendations to the end of your Beehive website URL. Additionally, you can also enable it on your Beehive hosted website by going to settings, website, and advanced, and enabling recommendations page under subscribe flow. If you want to add non-sponsored recommendations in addition to the sponsored or boosted ones, you can go over to grow and recommendations and add any Beehive newsletter here. Now that you have newsletters to recommend, let's add a subscribe form to your website. With a subscriber form, you can collect subscriber email addresses on a third-party hosted site, and they'll be automatically synced to your Beehive account. To create one, go to Audience and Subscribe Forms, and click on Create New Form. Here you can give your subscribe form a name, and then you can customize the content and design of it. Once you're done, click on save. Now click on view and you'll be able to see what your subscribe form looks like. Here I'll copy the slim embed code and log into my website builder, which in this case is Wix. Now I'll be adding the subscribe form to my Wix website. The process of adding a subscribe form will be slightly different depending on what website builder or hosting platform you're using. It's recommended to view your platform's documentation for the best results. Here I'm in the Wix website editor and I'll simply add an embed HTML element and paste in the code snippet I previously copied. After a few seconds, you can see the subscribe form right here. Now that I've added a subscribe form to my website, I'm going to head back to Beehive and then click on widgets in the navigation bar. You can find this in settings, publication, and then widgets. From here, you'll see three different triggers you can choose from. Essentially, your boost recommendation widget will appear once one of these three triggers goes off. The first trigger is email submission via subscribe form. If you select this trigger, the boost recommendations widget will pop up after a user enters their email in one of your subscribe forms, like the one we just added to my website. In the widget settings, you can select specific subscribe forms that you want to trigger the pop-up widget, which in this case, I would select the subscribe form I just made or you can leave select subscribe form unchecked and the widget will pop up for every subscribe form you have. The next trigger is on page load. This trigger is best for users who are utilizing a custom subscribe form on their website and are automatically redirecting users to a new page, like a thank you page after subscribing. Basically, if you added a redirect URL in the after submission section during the subscribe form setup, this is for you. You can simply add the URL of the page you're redirecting to to web page URL in the widget settings. For example, if your subscribe form is redirecting to a thank you page, you would just add the URL of the thank you page. And the last trigger is manual. This trigger is best for users who are utilizing a custom subscribe form on their website and want complete control over when to trigger the pop-up widget. Now, when you've chosen what type of trigger you want, you'll see a snippet of code to add to the head section of your website. Just make sure to copy this to your clipboard. Once again, to locate this section will be completely different depending on your website host. In this example, I can find this in the settings section of my Wix website, but if you're using a different website host or builder, you may have to look at their documentation to find the same section. Once you locate a similar section, paste in the code snippet you just copied. 
Now, if we test this out, you'll see the pop-up widget appear on your third-party website. Now that's it for this tutorial. If you wanna learn more about how to monetize your newsletter, check out the monetization playlist with the link below.